Kilauea's summit eruption in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park ceased yesterday, March 7, at 10.37 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, marking the end of episode 12. A new episode is expected within the next five to seven days. Episode 12 began at 7.06 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time on March 5 with some slow lava flows from both the north and south vents. Fountaining from the north vent began at 2 p.m., and the north vent began shortly after. The eruption reached a peak height of about 600 feet, 180 meters, around 3 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, continuing until 8.26 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. Thereafter, low-level, intermittent fountaining continued throughout the night until 10.37 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time on March 5. All eruptive activity occurred within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No significant changes were noted along Kilauea's East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone. Current hazards include volcanic gas emissions and windblown volcanic glass, Pele's hair, that could impact Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and surrounding communities. Lava flows from Episode 12 covered about two-thirds of Halamaumau. The central portion of the Episode 12 flow remained active overnight with fluid outflow and minor crustal overturning. See the March 5th Kilauea update for a detailed report on the Episode 13 eruption. Lava flows unrelated to the Episode 12 eruption continue to spread in downhill blocks on the eastern side of Halamaumau. These flows appear to be derived from older lava stored beneath the crater floor. The summit slope changed rapidly from inflation to deflation early in the episode and was measured at a deflation slope of 11 microradians during the eruption. The slope returned to inflation at 10.37 a.m. on March 5 with the end of eruptive activity and continued throughout the last day with a recovery of 3.5 microradians. No seismicity was recorded at Kilauea's summit during the past day and volcanic tremor decreased significantly with the end of episode 12. On March 4, weather conditions and daylight allowed for measurements of estimated SO2 emissions of 20,000 to 35,000 tons per day while both plumes were at their maximum. Levels have declined since then and were measured at 1,800 tons per day yesterday afternoon, following the end of eruptive activity. Halamaumau lava flow episodes since December 23, 2024 have lasted from 13 hours to 8 days and episodes are separated by lulls in eruptive activity lasting from less than 24 hours to 12 days. While episode 12 began with intermittent eruption at 7.30 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, sustained eruption did not begin until 12.45 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time and lasted for less than 22 hours. Strands of volcanic glass known as Pele's hair have been reported on the surface throughout the summit area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and surrounding communities. Seismicity and ground deformation remain very low in the East Rift Zone and Southwest Rift Zone with no significant earthquake activity in the past 24 hours. Sulfur dioxide, so too, from the East Rift Zone remains below detection limits. The current eruption is characterized by episodic fountaining not seen in other Halamaumau eruptions since 2020. Fountaining and lava flows have erupted from two vents we refer to as the North Vent and South Vent. Previous episodes have lasted from a few hours to over a week. Each fountaining episode was accompanied by strong deflation in the summit region. The intervals between fountaining episodes were characterized by a rapid change from deflation to inflation as the magma chamber refilled and repressurized. Analysis of the inflation slope pattern prior to the start of each fountaining episode allows an estimate of the probability time window for the start of a new episode. This is calculated using observations of the pressure drop during each episode and the inflation rate. Initial estimates from the last 24 hours of data indicate that the next episode is likely to begin in the next 5 to 7 days, between Tuesday March 10 and Thursday March 12, depending on the rate of inflation at the summit. The current eruption has been characterized by episodic fountaining not seen in any other Halamaumau eruption since 2020. 
fountaining and lava flows have erupted from two vents, which we refer to as the north vent and the south vent. 